Hello friends, and welcome to this week's vlog. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Melissa, and I'm a student registered nurse anesthetist in my last semester of CRNA school. Since I only have a few clinical days left, I wanted to show you what a clinical day looks like for me from start to finish. So welcome to a day in my life in CRNA school. I always brush my teeth and wash my face right when I get up. That way I'm at least a little bit awake so that I can give the dog some attention before I leave for the hospital. I have an eight-year-old golden mix named Daisy and a five-month-old puppy named Chip. Daisy is pretty self-sufficient, but I try to give Chip some playtime since he'll be in his crate until the afternoon and he has a ton of puppy energy to get out. After I make coffee, I do a quick 10 minute makeup and hair routine. I don't always put on makeup when I go to the hospital, it's probably like 50-50. When I do put on makeup though, I seem to feel more awake and focused throughout the day, but it really just depends on whether I feel like doing my makeup or playing with Chip in the morning to be honest. Finally, I just throw my lunch together real quick, that way I can get out the door by 5.30. I try to get to the hospital by at least 6 because I have to change out into scrubs and all that good stuff. Welcome to this week's vlog. Today I'm doing a day in the life of a student registered nurse anesthetist. I just got to the hospital. It is a little after six. I'm a little bit, I'm running a little bit late this morning, but um, I only have 13 days of clinical left, which is so cool. Today I'm gonna be down in the cardiac cath lab. So I'm gonna go set up some ablations and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. my first break of the day, my morning break. I'm with one of my favorite serenades today, which is nice because she lets me have an early morning break. I don't know why my stomach was already like growling this morning, so it's definitely ready for breakfast. I like to do things like this for breakfast, bring something like a yogurt and granola that I can just add together, and that way I'm not dealing with like extra Tupperware, and it's just quick and easy. It's like a nutritious breakfast to help kind of guide me through the day. Um, first case started off really well. We're just doing a MAC, and then the next three cases will probably be um, full generals with an ET tube. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. It's a good day so far. I'm really not normally a soda drinker, but today I just really wanted a little bit of caffeine. So there's a doctor's lounge downstairs that has drinks that we're allowed to go steal stuff from. So I went and got myself a Diet Coke. Normally I just get like a brisk tea or something, but just wanted some extra caffeine today. It's freezing down in the cath lab, so I actually have on two jackets. I've never done this before, but I was so cold. Um, but yeah, it's about 10 o'clock now. There's a little break between my cases, so I'm gonna eat some, I said 10, it's 11 o'clock. I just said 10. It's 11 o'clock now. Um, I have a break between cases. My next patient isn't even here yet, so I'm going to eat lunch and then I might run downstairs or some computers and just do some like apex practice studying until my patient gets here. My 
me for today just let me go a little bit early because our doctor was running late for our uh, last case so it's um it's like 2 30 i get out at 3 so it's not terribly early but i saw um we have an endotracheal tube in our little break room so i figured i'd show you guys um for anyone who's like interested in anesthesia or doesn't know so when you go to sleep for anesthesia we put in depending on the case we put in a breathing tube um which is an endotracheal tube so this is what it looks like this is a seven and a half so that measures the internal diameter and then we put this stylet in it to make it a bit more rigid for placement um, so you can see as we pull it out this is kind of how it just sits but we put a little bend on it and then it's got a little pilot balloon and it inflates the cuff to keep it in place so this is what happens when you inflate it you see your cuff there go over there Obviously, he's never going to be used in person, so we need to take the air out. Um, and this is what sits in the trachea. I know it's not super interesting, but if you're interested in anesthesia, you might I don't know, be interested in seeing that. Or if you're just an ICU nurse or whatever, um, just getting your experience before you go back to school, a lot of times you'll see you know, your intubated patients, but it's not often that, at least when I was in, um, doing my nursing, that you put your hands on the tube and get to kind of look at it. So. That is what is sitting in there. So if you're new to my channel, I live in Florida and it has been so hot. Today's the first really nice day. It is, I think it's gotta be only like 70 degrees, which is, it just feels so nice. There's a breeze. So I'm sitting outside with the dogs for a little bit. I'm gonna try and finish an Apex module on my phone while I'm relaxing. And then um, Jimmy went to get Chipotle for dinner for himself. I have some leftovers from last night that I'm gonna eat. So once he gets back, we'll probably eat and then maybe go play some tennis. But I'm gonna try and make it a little bit productive and get through this last Apex module. So I have leftover um, broccoli and onions and pierogies that I made last night. So I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer and heat them up. recently found out that there are basketball and tennis courts literally two minutes from our house so a few times a week we'll run out for about an hour just to play around on the courts living in florida we get very few days that are scorching hot and after being stuck in a freezing operating room all day it's really nice to have some time outside We just got back from our little tennis and basketball journey that we did. Um, did that for a little bit, so nice out, so we just wanted to be outside for a little bit. And then we came home and sat outside with the dogs, and now I'm showered and just put some dessert in the oven, and we're just gonna chill and watch some TV.
really spend some time at the end of the day just watching a movie or a show or a podcast just to unwind and just kind of turn our brains off from all the activities of the day. And then lately we've been getting into hot tea, so we'll drink a hot tea before bed. I personally am on the melatonin game, so I'll take a melatonin gummy at night too. I usually will make the tea and then I'll take my melatonin gummy and then just sip on the tea and kind of finish off the day that way. And that's my day. I'm usually in bed between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, which sounds early, but when you have to get up at 4.45 and you love your sleep, it's the only way to do it. Thank you so much for watching my day in the life vlog. We post new videos on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. so you can fall asleep with Propofol Diaries. Good night.